The next hadith is about how the Prophet uh, would stay within the masjid uh, and he wouldn't leave the masjid except uh, for a dire need. And we went over a similar hadith yesterday, but this is an incident that took place uh, in regards to the Prophet وسلم, going uh, till, the, till the border of the masjid and then stopping. And the incident goes that one of the wives of the Prophet وسلم, Safiya radiallahu anha, she came to visit the Prophet Anha ja'at Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam tazuruhu fi i'tikafihi fil masjid fil ashr al-awakhir min Ramadan. She came to the Prophet وسلم, to visit him while he, there in, while he was in the masjid. فتحدثت عنده ساعة She spent a good amount of time with the Prophet وسلم, speaking, speaking with him, conversating with him. ثم قامت تنقلب And then she stood up to leave. And as she left the masjid, the Prophet وسلم, stood up and left with her. فقام النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم معها يقلبها The Prophet وسلم, stood up and walked with her to the door of the masjid or till where the masjid ended. حتى إذا بلغت باب المسجد عند باب أم سلم the Prophet ﷺ walked with Safiya radiallahu anha until you know the door of the masjid, uh, and when they reached the door of the masjid, two men from the Sahaba, from the Ansar, passed by, uh, and as they passed by the Prophet ﷺ, they said salam to the Prophet ﷺ, and there were two of the Sahaba from the Ansar. مر الرجلان من الأنصار فسلم على رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم. They said salam to the Prophet ﷺ, and so the Prophet ﷺ said to them, now this is off the subject of i'tikaf, but something that we learn from the sunnah of the Prophet ﷺ. The Prophet ﷺ said to them, عَلَىٰ رِسْلِكُمَا إِنَّمَا هِيَ صَفِيَّةُ بِنْتُ حُوْيَيْ Both of them said salam to the Prophet ﷺ and walked away. They saw that the Prophet ﷺ was with a woman. and. Scholars of hadith say that she must have been covered to such an extent that they couldn't tell that this was Safiya radiallahu anha. Right? It was just some woman uh, that was with the Prophet sallallahu And so the Prophet sallallahu stopped both of the Ansari Sahaba. He stopped both of them and said, this is my wife Safiya to bintu Huyayt radiallahu anha. And so he was clearing up any doubt that might have entered their minds that the Prophet ﷺ is with some woman in the masjid. And so both of them, they said to the Prophet ﷺ, Subhanallah Ya Rasulullah, O Prophet of Allah, do you really think that we would think you know, in, an evil, in an evil manner about you? Do you really think that we would have such thoughts that you're with a strange woman? Did you really have to clear this up? And so the Prophet ﷺ said, Inna shaytan yablu'u min al-insani mablagh al Shaitan runs within the human body like the blood runs within our body. Shaitan, he runs through our, our veins just like blood runs through our veins. And I feared maybe that you two saw me with a woman that you didn't recognize, and maybe Shaitan might, you know, whisper into your ears, look, the Prophet is with a strange woman, or he's with a woman all alone. So the Prophet cleared it up and didn't let any doubt go any further. And so this is something we also learn from the Sunnah of the Prophet ﷺ. If you feel maybe you're in a position where someone else sees you, and maybe for some reason, maybe you're just walking by a liquor store, but somebody sees you, and they may think, this brother was coming out of a liquor store, I saw him near the liquor store, then it's better that you clear it up with them, because maybe that doubt, maybe shaitan did put it in their mind. Like the Prophet ﷺ said, shaitan runs in our bodies just like blood runs in our bodies. So shaitan will do his best to try to create enmity and hatred, and shaitan will do his best to try to create gossip and try to create means of backbiting. But the Sunnah of the Prophet ﷺ says, the, the Sunnah of the Prophet ﷺ teaches us, if you see there's some doubt, go clear it up. And so the Prophet ﷺ stopped them right there. He said, wait up, both of them are walking away. This is Safiya, my wife. And so this is something that we learn from the Sunnah of the Prophet ﷺ. So a few things we learn from this hadith, the Prophet ﷺ not crossing the borders or of the masjid, not passing the doors of the masjid, really secluding himself inside of the masjid. And the second thing we mentioned, another thing, the wife of the Prophet ﷺ coming inside of the masjid to meet and sit and talk to him, which is also permissible. And thirdly, 
clearing of doubt. Uh, this is something that we find in the Sunnah of the Prophet So we ask Allah Subhanahu wa Taala to increase us in our love for the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. We ask Allah Subhanahu wa Taala to give us all tawfiq to perform i'tikaf, even if it's not the whole ten days, whatever time that we have, spend it in the house of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala with the objectives in mind that we mentioned yesterday and the day before, the four objectives. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to give us tawfiq and to inspire us all. Subhanallah wa bihamdi subhanakallahumma wa bihamdi. Nashadu wa la ilaha illa an. Nastaghfiru wa natawfiq.